He has a short fuse. Sometimes the blows just come out of nowhere. And we were at the movie theaters right next to the courthouse at Restaurant Row. And I was just like, man, I don't want to, I, I don't even want to go and watch the movie. Like, he just turned around and hit me. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror when he hit me. And I just seen blood coming down, like, my nose and my mouth. Like, I was shocked. There's a part on the railing where it kind of bends downward like this. That's where he slammed my head. I was walking and I had my earphones on. I didn't even hear him coming. I was just shocked. I remember my head turning and it slammed into the pipe. And he just started going off, hitting me left and right, punching me, pulling my hair. He dragged me here and he kept punching me, like picking me up every time I like fell. He grabbed my shirt and he ripped it. He ripped it and then like, I was trying to hold my shirt together and he grabbed my bra and ripped it. I was trying to hold my clothes and I was embarrassed cause like people started coming out and stuff. Like majority of the people that came out just basically watched. Nobody did anything and he just kept hitting me like he wanted that like that's what he wanted he wanted to embarrass me he wanted to ruin me and he broke me that day i was 16 years old when that happened i think that was like the reason why i like i stayed and i dealt with it is because like I was told by a lot of people like my family and stuff that it's part of life. It's your partner, that's your husband or whatever. It's just something you have to deal with because like like I said before, like in our culture some to some people like they they tend to normalize that type of behavior. The elder ones, like, they would tell you, like, oh, that's how life is. Like, you fight with your husband and things like that, but, you know, that's just, you just have to deal with it. What America calls abuse is something normal in our Polynesian culture. You know, it's, it's discipline. That day at the laundromat, I believe we were fighting because of a girl. It seemed like they knew each other or whatever, but they were making eye contact. And I remember we were arguing about it and we ended up in the car. And he just like reached over and slammed my head into the dashboard. And he was like hitting me like I wasn't pregnant. He like beat me up and then he dragged me. that field and like he kept hitting me again over there and he left me. He left me there for hours. Like I, when he left me there it was daytime. And then I remember just laying there crying. That was the one time I felt like I was gonna die. I was bleeding. I was hurting. I I felt so lost. I felt like I had nowhere to go. I just like laid there in the bushes and just cried. And so I went into labor that night and it broke my heart when I seen my daughter. I didn't even get to hold her. I didn't even get to kiss her. They had to rush her out. I remember laying there, I was like so mad. I was mad at myself. They took me into the recovery room to where I, um, I could rest and 
He came in a room and beat me up again in there after I gave birth. I remember he had the chair against the walls of the door so that the securities and doctors can't get in. I don't know why I didn't leave him. I can't give an answer to why. But I honestly felt like I had nowhere to go. A lot of the times I don't even call the police. Um, I gave up hope. Well, growing up in Samoa, like I've seen it a lot. As a little girl, like I started to believe that that's just how it is. That's how Polynesian is. Like, you know, you, you fight, you, you get beat up, um, even by your partner and, and whatever. And just that was just something normal. Because even in Hawaii, like, you know, when I was living in Hawaii, like, you would see a lot of couples fighting and people don't really react to it. It's like, everyone's like, ah, oh, there they go again. In our culture, I feel, is that they believe that the men have the right over the women, right or wrong. We can't speak up to our husbands. Like if, if they did something wrong towards us, it's like somewhat forbidden. Polynesians don't believe in depression. They don't believe in PTSD or um, dissociation. They don't believe in any kind of mental health problems or whatever, you know, or emotional problems. I can't vent. To, to to my families and my friends because they're just gonna look at me like like I'm weak or like the hell is wrong with you that's white people stuff I always sit with the regret you know every time I look at my daughter it's a constant reminder of what I allowed to happen and I blame myself too. I feel like she would have been okay if I had just left. But I honestly think that we wouldn't survive, both of us, if I had left. I don't think I'd be here for her. Yeah, I was too scared to leave. Not only because I was afraid of him, but also because I didn't have that support. I felt like my family wouldn't help me. Because like, they would just tell me like, that's how it is, that's how life is. It's just something you have to deal with. 